Hi everyone, it's Miss Hodgson and today I thought I'd share with you one of my favourite picture books. Today I thought we could read The Worst Princess and it's written by Anna Kemp and illustrated by Sarah Ogilvy. And the blurb on the back of the book says, Bored of your run-of-the-mill princess? Tired of the traditional princess finds her prince tale? Looking for a princess with a bit more bite? Then this is the book for you. Are you sitting comfortably? Then I'll get started. Once upon a time, in a tower near you, lived a lonely princess, the Princess Sue. Some day, she sighed, my prince will come, but I wish he'd move his royal bum. I've waited for a hundred years. I'm getting stiff and bored to tears. I've read the books. I know the score. I've grown my plaits down to the floor. I really need to get some air to see the world and cut my hair. Then, just as Sue was about to scream, a prince appeared. Twas like a dream. Oh, princess, pretty as a pea, I've journeyed far to rescue thee. I fought, I won, I shocked, I awed. You should have seen me swing my sword. I've slain all kinds of vicious foe. That's fair, said Sue. Now can we go? Your true love's kiss should do the trick, so pucker up and kiss me quick. They charged off on a dashing steed. Whoopee, cried Sue. At last, I'm freed. Today I start my happy end. But then she saw around the bend. Where are we going, my prince, my love? Back to my castle, turtle dove. My perfect peach, my precious flower. You have a penthouse in the tower. Oh, I'd rather ride a horse, said Sue, and do all kinds of fun stuff too. Too bad, said Prince. You know the rules. Didn't you listen at princess school? It's me who wears the armour here. And you wear dresses. Are we clear? Just smile a lot and twist your curls. Dragon bashing's not for girls. Alone in her tower, Sue started to spit. Oh, what a disaster! My prince is a twit! Then in the skies, she suddenly spied a fearsome dragon with flashing eyes. Sue didn't run. She had no fear. Instead, she had a bright idea. Hey, you, she called. With the scary claws, fancy some tea for your fiery jaws? Oh, yes, said Dragon. What a relief. That pesky prince is giving me grief. Oh, me too, said Sue. The sneaky rascal has locked me in this stupid castle. The rotter, gasped Dragon. That just won't do. We need to teach him a thing or two. The dragon sniffed some nasal spray. Then blew the tower clean away. Princess Sue, that's quite enough. The prince was back and in a huff. Where's your tower? Just look at your dress. You really are the worst princess. Also, Susan, beg your pardon, why is there a dragon in my garden? Perhaps I am the worst princess, laughed Princess Sue. My hair's a mess, my tower's a wreck, but I don't care. I've booked a flight with Dragon Air. The dragon sniffed, then with two snorts, set alight the princely shorts. And from that day on, the newfound friends toured the land from end to end, making mischief left and right for royal twits and naughty knights. You know, said Sue, 
as they drank their tea. We're a great team, you and me. The dragon's belly shook with laughter and they both lived happily ever after. Well, I hope you enjoyed listening to that story. And of course, as always, there are some activities in the box underneath the video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to the video so you know when the next videos are uploaded. Hope you're doing okay and hope to see you soon. Bye.